This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. You good? All right. <laughs> YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you. And today we're out at the old shipyard, naval shipyard at uh, Noisette. Um, it's down in, in Charleston. And uh, Riverfront Park is right over there. Been here since about six o'clock in the morning. Took some great shots down by the water. And then we were walking around this area, which is basically a veritable ghost town. It's just, you know, no trespassing signs and fences up everywhere. It was a little less than what I was hoping it would be, honestly. I was hoping maybe I could maybe even do some you know, urban exploration, get inside a building or two, but construction workers are all over the place and there's fences just everywhere. Behind me is the old Admiral's house. Um, it's probably the most famous historical building in this particular area. And even that one is just so derelict that they've actually taken the stairs off the backside of the house. You can't even get into it. You can't even go into it. You can't even get close to it. There's just construction and nastiness all over it. So, eh, kind of a bust. What I'm vaping on right now is the Smoant Raybox. And uh, it's not a device that I would generally recommend taking outside of the house with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically exposed everywhere is the thing. There's no surface of this except the, the sides that are, you know, enclosed. So it's a device that you really have to be careful with. You want to make sure that, you know, if you get like liquid or if you get, you know, dust or debris in here that you want to clean it out first. You want to be careful with this thing. So I've actually been carrying around the bag just in case, you know, I got a chance to sit down, talk to you guys, do whatever while I was here. This is the first chance I've gotten. Um, so it's hard for me to use this at home because the other dog, Olive, every time you flip this little switch, it beeps. <laughs> This is a soft mode when it's down. When it's down, it's in a soft mode, this little switch, right? And in soft mode, it's basically just the battery's power is what you're getting. And when you flip it up the other way, if it's on, there it goes, yeah. It beeps twice and you're in a hard mode, which is basically five volts is what you're getting. It's an oddball little device, man. I love the look of it, but it's more of a desk mode, to be honest with you. It's something that you're gonna keep in the house, keep on your desk and use there, and you're gonna be careful what happens with it because the whole chipset, the whole bet, the PCB, the battery, everything on here is exposed. Um, and it's super clean. It's beautiful to look at. It's super interesting. You've got this, you know, reinforced sort of cage body to it with see-through you know plastic on either side you can see the entire board you can see the battery you can see all the inner workings of the device and all the leds light up on it and all kinds of funkiness with it when it charges it just flashes blue constantly it's not the kind of thing you can charge on your on your bedside table or anything it's just going to drive you crazy but the other dog this dog doesn't mind so much big head he don't care but the other dog, whenever I flip that switch, she flips out. She don't like this thing. It vapes well, it vapes up to 100 watts. The name mechanical, they call it the Raybox Mechanical Mod, which is a complete misnomer because there's nothing mechanical about this device. It's got all the usual protections that you'll find in any kind of other, you know, regulated mod. You've got, you know, low voltage protection, short circuit protection, uh, low battery protection. You got it all, basically. It's completely regulated. You flip it one way, it's a regulated five volts. You flip it the other way, you're getting the charge off the battery. But it's still a fully protected device. So it's, it's a total misnomer, but I don't mind because I don't really use mechs.
What I'm vaping on right now is the Smoant Battlestar RTA. And the RTA is basically, well, it's the most simple RTA that I've seen in a while. I mean, it's, it's basically the, the Mage RTA is what it is with the deck lifted up a little bit or you know one of the uh the geek vape or digi flavor ones where they've lifted the deck up a little bit so it's a little bit closer to the drip tip you know so the deck kind of sits in the middle of the tank and the wicks hang down and it's a velocity style deck and it's very very simple very simple design but it does have some nice you know aesthetic features on it you've got like this little sort of you know, heartbeat monitor, audio sort of up and down kind of kind of thing on the uh, airflow control, which moves super, super, super easy. It's like the easiest to move airflow control that I've come across in some time. It's very, very nice to move that. And on the bell of the chamber, you've got this weird skull looking dude. He kind of looks like Homer Simpson if he was a vampire. <laughs> The other side says Smoant, and uh, up top you've got an all-in-one top cap. The top cap has the drip tip on top of it. Yes, I suppose you could put your own drip tips on top of this. Would it look good? No, it's gonna look stupid. So I wouldn't recommend it. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I accidentally opened up the copper one instead of the black one. Kinda wish I'd opened up the black one instead, but eh, it is what it is. Build I've gotten here, I threw together last night. Very, very simple. I basically took four strands of 30 gauge, twisted them together, and then hammered it out. That's it. And then I put it all up on a three millimeter bit, mounted one on either side of the velocity deck, and wicked it up.
it's not a bad build, it's flavorful enough. Um, it's just kind of a boring RTA, if you ask me. I mean, it's three pieces, velocity style deck, not a whole lot to get excited over there. But the box itself, I'm digging the box, man. I dig the Ray box. It's, it's a fun device, definitely more of a desk mode, not something that I should really have brought out with me to the, and to the elements where I'm gonna be sweating and I'm gonna be you know, around dirt and I'm gonna be around whatever, but at least I didn't bring it into the forest or anything, so it's something. Um, the buttons are nice and clicky uh the switch is it's fun when it's beeping like that just you know my dog hates it is the thing that's all the 510 connection sits on this little bridge between the the cage like this really reinforced cage i love the cage element to it it's definitely not the most comfortable box to hold in the hand it's a little bit wider than it should be needs to be if you ask me but I feel like that's part of its charm. Uh, it's not meant to be comfortable. It's not meant to be approachable. Um, it's just a weird head-turning kind of mod, and that's what it's for. It's meant to turn some heads. It's interesting. Anyway, guys, so I'm about to uh, grab a few more shots down by Riverfront Park. Um, I didn't really get a whole lot in this whole area because uh, I would have been way more excited if I can get inside some of the houses a little bit more, but you really can't. Um, there's a couple that aren't just completely fenced off, but like I said, construction guys are everywhere, everywhere. You know, they're, I think they're working on just prettying up the place a bit is what's going on. So it's almost nine o'clock right now. We've been here about three hours. I'm gonna grab a few more shots down by Riverfront Park, uh, maybe a few more shots around here, and then I'm gonna head on home and I'll see you guys there. Um, really appreciate all the things you do, the likes, the comments, the subs, all that good stuff. Two more ways, you, I know we're going soon. We're go, he, he's restless. <laughs> Two more ways you can help support the channel. I have a link of links of affiliates in the description box in every video, and uh, there's the Patreon account if you feel like making a contribution to the channel. Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapers.